What's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Last time we were here in this cave, we had made it a point to, um, or sorry, we made it a point. We, we got ourselves here into this cave by solving a puzzle, which took us a little while to figure out, but we got there. Um, I do not know if we can get across here. We sure can, thank God. Okay. Um, anyway, and we received a curse, another one of the curses in this game that allows us to turn into a boat. We have Admiral Bobbery with us, and we can actually switch to him now to have him back on our team. And I think the question is where we go from here. Did we go back up? No. Where the hell are we supposed to be going now? Maybe it is back up. And I just did the wrong thing. But that's fine. It's, you know, since the last time we played I have forgotten, so I apologize. But uh, it's not a huge deal. We will just go like this. Get back on Gruel. Thank you. Get back to Bobbery. So, Amy, I know that you have been... You said you were kind of enjoying this chapter a bit, or a fair bit, um, so far. I I guess we have to try to find out where we're... Go oh, Jesus. I pressed the wrong button. Sorry, Bobbery. Uh, I guess we have to determine where we're going from here. Uh, like I said, if I'm right and it's this way, that's cool, but... If not, then I'm not quite sure where to go next. Also press the wrong button again. But it's all good now. Okay. So if we fall down this waterfall... Yeah! We end up here. Which is nothing? Is this where the gate is? It is yeah. where the gate is. Okay, so we raised... What? I was going to say, so maybe we go down another waterfall. Yeah, so we raised the gate, so now we can go over here. Check out these areas. I think we've been here, because I remember going back there thinking there was hidden stuff. Uh, oh, we can pass in front. Okay, that's positive. Um, going into here. Ah, the waves. We have not done this part yet. Gotta dodge the waves, gotta dodge the waves. Ah! Dodge them. No! Dodge the waves better. Ah! Go, 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 no! No! Ah, right at the end? I just thought it would, like, take a point away or whatever and we'd be able to keep going. No, I mean, I'm glad it doesn't take a point away. That would suck. Our health is very low right now. Yes, it is. <laughs> Nope. Nope. We did it. <laughs> hey, something's coming. They are floating on the water. <gasps> Where am I, huh? What? Let me see. What? Is that a... Is that a boat? Hey, over here. Save us, please. Okay. Are <laughs> we stranded? It looks like uh, they're, they were in like a net or something. Oh, maybe not. What is this? Well, that was pointless. Oh, are you kidding me? It's made of paper. I still can't breathe. Okay. Ah, here's the, the pad that we can turn into Mario. On. Okay, but we still can't get over there, so I yes. guess we have to just do all this stuff in the background for now. Be on that boat. Yeah. Unless there's just nothing to do on it. Nope. <laughs> we can go here. We don't have gruel, so all of these are jumpable. Okay, it takes us up here, and then we can paper airplane over to them. See? Yeah. Okay. 
Now, hold on. Okay, so that's just the water down there. We're good. Paper airplane! What? <sighs> F off. That sucks, man. Okay. Well, we, we can go. We have nothing that can heal us? No. Because it's all being stored. Probably. Because I, I was like, I'm pretty sure we have like three peachy peaches. <laughs> like, <laughs> at the very least. Shit. Does this let us go down? Yes, okay, good. Oh, thank God. I was like, otherwise I do not know how we get out of this because um, we couldn't get from the plat. Well, that was unfortunate. Ugh. All right. Let's... I'm so angry with myself. <laughs> That's super annoying, man. Okay. Yeah, I, I commented on the fact that, like, this game is not a platforming game, but we're literally going to die from me falling in this goddamn water over and over again. It's super frustrating. And if we don't, like, the first fight we come up against, we're going to die. So. Okay, thank God. All right. There's no escape ropes in this game yeah. where we can, like... No chance Go back there. to the store. Nope. Oh, okay, we have to get back across to the pipe then. Hey, we can cross over now! Hey, hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Wow. There's so many of them. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Look who it is, Amy. Whoa. You recognize who that was? Yes. Wow. That was the gangster's daughter and son-in-law. Correct. Are right, we going to be able to do this? Yes, we are. Very good. Let me wait for it to go back up. Okay. We actually did it. <clears throat> okay, game. Do not screw me over here. Oh, thank God. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well, our ship got surrounded by ghosts out on the ocean, and we all ended up here. Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca. And Frankie's here, too. After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us. Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true. Which means... he's nearby. <clears throat> hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what? You're after the pirate's treasure because it might contain a crystal star? Well, I think the treasure is right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Don't buy it. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him one for me. Oh. <clears throat> uh, oh, okay. God. My voice was not really ready for that at all. Sorry. Okay. Clear something up for me. You gotta hear how? But wouldn't you have to turn into a boat or an airplane to do all that? I, we literally did. You watched me. Getting out of here is treasure enough for us, but how do, how do we get out? Well, you go on and fight Cortez, and we'll think of a way out. How about that? Frankie and I are just so in love, anytime, anywhere, no matter how dank. Hey, Puddin' Pie, cool it, will ya? I mean, come on, babe, everyone's watching. This is really stupid. Can we just go fight Cortez now, since wanna... he apparently is alive for some reason? How will we ever get back to the surface? It smells so weird down here. Yeah, it's all the fucking mushrooms. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh, look, Amy. Whoa! Oh. Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way, and, uh, well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you, and then, listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the crystal star is inside that pirate ship. 
And the Pirate King Cortez is in there too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal though, right? You could take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure am. And so is Grotus. Well, two things. First, we're definitely spending these 12 coins. Hell yeah. I was like, I'm not even asking you. I'm Thank just doing God. it. <laughs> Holy shit. That was so necessary, it's not even funny. And then we're going to save, because that's also super necessary here. They should have had a second one of those, like, <laughs> somewhere in one of the other rooms. What does he have to say? Whoa, sorry, what did I say? Well, forget it, I'll just wait here so I don't get in the way. I don't know why that guy turned into Sylvester Stallone, but that's definitely the voice I was doing for him, so. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, I am. Ooh, you ignored my warning. I don't know what you're talking about. Come inside the door and be lost in darkness. Okay. Not that afraid of a little darkness. Not that afraid of a little darkness? I mean, you might want to be. Who knows? Probably not. Whoa. It's not dark in here. Come into my... <laughs> Crystal Star is there. Yes. Uh, what voice could I do for this guy? Enough! I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. I am a pirate, blast it! Pirates do not moan! I am a cold blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot, not a crying ghost! And. You are after my treasure! And this, this is my ship! What are you doing here? Speak! I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo! Yo ho 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 ho! Well. Time to fight! This music is full. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, he's got a big sword, and a hook, and another sword. Yeah. What the hell? And a dinosaur's spine? And kind a of. spring? <laughs> and a, wow, I don't Andy. know, a handkerchief? What do we want to do to this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Thanks. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> He's crazy. I don't know. That's also a Um, What do we got? I mean, we can normal jump, spin jump, or multi bounce. We can normal hammer, super hammer, power smash, head rattle, ice smash, or quake hammer. Um, we can fire flower, spike pouch, courage shell, slow shroom, or booze sheet. Uh, we can sweet treat, earth tremor, clock out, power lift, or art attack. That's power lift. Briefly increases your party's attack and defense power. Oh. I was thinking, like, lifting weights. Yeah. I was like, is this some kind of cool thing? But it wasn't. No, it just lifts your power. <laughs> um, let's try hitting him with a power hammer. Power smash? Yeah. So there's the bone pile in the back is the only thing we can target with the hammer. And then just to double check, if we pick jump, we can target him or the bone pile. Okay, so let's jump. Okay. Four damage to his head. So Bobbery will only be able to bomb the bone pile. You ready? Yeah. Four damage to him slash the bone pile, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ooh. I did not know the roundup for that. But that was four damage. That wasn't terrible, considering. Uh, so power smash the bone pile or just jump on him? Uh, let's jump on him. Do we have, like, a better jump? We have a uh, spin jump, attack by first stomping, and then spin jumping on enemies, or jump on all foes in a row. So yeah, spin jump would be the better one. Yeah, let's try that one. I feel like we don't do that one much. Correct. Yeah, so that did one more damage. Okay. Five versus four. Alright, so I guess we'll stick to that one then. Okay. Four more damage to the bone pile. Go for it. Ah, alright, Bobbery took four. That's not the worst. All right, jump or power smash? Uh, power smash did how much? Uh, it usually does like five, I think. So it'll do like more than bobbery. It might even do like 
more than that, like eight or something. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, because Mario's stuff is powered up, so. Yeah, six, okay. Huh? He's doing something different. He dropped his weapons. He went back into the bone pile. And now he's that. Ew. <laughs> so, now we can, if we hammer, we hammer the bone pile. Or we can jump on him or the bone pile again. Uh, let's do the spin jump. On him? Yeah. Got him. For another five. Alright. Bomb the bones. Alright. Four more damage. Oh! It looks like he sinks into it. Ooh. If you hit it. Oh! His attack power is now boosted. But it looks like it's only for this turn. So do we want to try to do something about that? Yeah, do you want to maybe use like an item? Like a fire one or something? Well, we can do Boo's Sheet, which will make Mario invisible. Oh. Okay. So he won't be able to be hit. Or we can swap to Vivian and do Veil and sink Mario underground so that he doesn't take any damage for the turn. Yeah. But then we we will we would have to swap again if we wanted to go back to Bobbery later. But... Oh, he only hits the bones. Yeah, but as we saw, if you hit the bones, he looks like he sinks into it more. Yeah. Okay. So, that's your call. Well, yeah, let's switch to Vivian and then... So she can do the veil. Got it. He's underground, which means this attack does nothing. We gain back an FP. Oh, he comes back out of the bone pile. Four damage to Vivian is fine. <gasps> Vivian's invisible. Ooh. And attacks against her will now miss. Okay, power smash the bone pile or jump on him? Uh, jump on him. Spin or regular? Spin. Okay, five more damage to him. Alright. We can do a shade fist to him. What about the fire thing? That's this. Oh. He did not light on... Oh, he did get the burn. Okay, good. Four damage to Mario. But he takes damage. Oh, because the fire's down here in the gold pile. So it's like impossible to see it. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Uh, are we swapping back to Bobbery or keeping Vivian? I think we can keep her. Okay. So, jump on him or power smash? Jump on him. Spin again? Yeah. Or 18 for up to Now 16, but yes. Up! Something happened. Yeah. He is now a head and weapon room. <laughs> okay. So we can jump on the sword, the saber, the hook, or himself, or the rapier. Or we can multi-bounce and jump on them all. Ooh, let's do that. I hope these aren't considered sharp. I don't think they are. Let's do it. It is. Son of a bitch, man. Alright. Uh, Fiery Jinx attacks all foes with flames and sets them on fire. Okay. I don't know if that'll affect the weapons, but it might. We'll find out. Okay. That did not work. To perfection. Oh my god! Wow. That was pretty great. Wow. She deserved that for. That's incredible. Okay. She really did a lot. Yeah. Okay. So, I, you know, I understand why he wants to bite at her and take four for help. Yeah. Alright, so we cannot hammer him because he's floating. So we can only jump or, like, do a special attack or use an item. But he's also on fire. If we jump, does no, it hurt us? No, that's okay. not. Thankfully, because we are the ones that inflicted the fire, we don't get penalized for that. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's jump. Spin? Spin jump. Okay. All right, no more spin jumps. Oh, okay. Oh, because we're at six now. Well, yeah. that's because the fiery jinx took six, but it was worth it. It killed exactly. all five weapons or whatever. Exactly. So, definitely worth it. So now the Shade Fist. You got it. Four damage. Nice. 
he's already on fire, so that's fine. I'll just keep being on fire. Arg! I can't take much more of this! This calls for something special. Now you will see the true might of my spirit form. He just gained back 49 health oh my and God. sucked out the souls of half our audience. Oh my God. His and weapons his are weapons also are back. back. <laughs> oh my god, no. Okay, um, let's do a... What are these things? What do we have? So, we have Earth Tremor, which shakes the ground to damage all enemies. Clock out immobilizes all enemies for a short period of time. Power lift briefly increases our attack and defense. Or art attack damages all enemies we encircle with the star. How about clock out? To immobilize them? That won't do any damage. Oh, just immobilized. What's the sweet treat? Uh, it gets us FP and HP back. Oh, good. We need FP pretty terribly. Okay. So you want to do that? Yeah. What's yeah. SP? Star power. Where is uh, that? Where is that? Oh, yeah. The the the, the orbs up here. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we have five of them. So if we use one, we'll be down to four, which means we could do either one Art Attack or like two Earth Tremors or something. Like, Well, I just don't think the Earth Tremor's gonna work because all these things are floating. Well, so it would still hit them. It just, it wouldn't, like the first or second bumps wouldn't, but as long as I keep going like the third and fourth uh, and fifth okay. will or whatever. Okay. Um, but the Art Attack would work. And what's that one? We've never used it before. Oh. But it damages all enemies you encircle with the star. Okay, let's use that one. You want to use that first? Um, Because yeah. then we can sweet treat later. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. It's been a little while, but let me see. Draw them around them as many times as you can. Okay, well, that's... Because there were so many of them. What the hell? What's happening? Oh, shit! Are you kidding? I thought it was over. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it, game! Fuck that. That's bullshit. I was like, oh, did it glitch or something? I didn't realize the star was still there. That's nonsense. Okay. Well, now we know how to use it. Great. <laughs> now that we have zero stars, exactly. basically. Exactly. Okay. Um, shade fist on one of the weapons to make it go away, or on him? There's only two weapons left. Because the other ones did fall. Can we do like a multi bounce? Well, we're using Vivian. Yeah, I know. So, no. We can Shade Fist or Veil, or we can do the thing that she did before, right? Where That hits everything and kill all the weapons last time. And then we'll have one FP. And then we have Sweet Treat, because we still have the one star power left. Fine, do that. Okay. Still killed the weapons, it dealt them five damage. Still didn't block that very well. He's on fire, so it takes one, we get an FP back. Well, we're supposed to do sweet treat, so it doesn't matter. That's well it does. It, if sweet treat doesn't fill us up, we have uh, to try to get them back. Oh, okay. Well yes, do it. There we go. Okay, that's it. We got six FP back. And seven and five health. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Well, I knew we got health, but I didn't see a single FP that we I, got. I saw a couple of them, but it was not great. Okay. Four damage, and he's still on fire. Locked in. Hell yeah. Thank God. We finally figured out the pattern. Okay. Oh, we got... Okay, he took damage from the fire. We got an FP back. Nice. Two of his weapons return. Three of his weapons return. No, all of them do. Okay. Okay. So we'll just have to do that thing with, with Vivian again. Okay. Yeah. You want to do that first? Yeah. Right. Let's do the fiery jinx. It'll put us down to three, but it's worth it. Yeah. As we learned. All right, let's do it. X, X, B, A. 
Okay. They all go. Oh, and they're gone, gone. The weapons. Oh! <laughs> oh, we level up, too. Oh, nice. Like, just level up. We go to, like, 102, so level up plus two. Wow. I did not realize that would be the end of him. Okay. HP, FP, or BP, Amy? Oh, man. <laughs> um, so we go from 25 to 30 health, and that's only on ourselves. Our partners level up through the um, star shines right. or whatever. Uh, 20 to 25 FP. Now, we have 25, but that's because of the badge that we have equipped. Or 30 to 33 BP. I might pick FP here. Okay. Because we just it's had that been issue. A while. Sure. Yeah. Not a problem at all. Don't forget, obviously, because we leveled up, we'll go back to full on everything. Right. But that's great. So then we'll have 30 total FP to, to work with yeah. in the future. You got it. We max out. And our star power is all back as well, if you noticed. Nice. No! My treasure! Oh, you are foolish, amigo, for I am not dead. Well, technically I was already dead, but my spirit endures, tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live, amigo. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. <laughs> that sounds right. What? You're not even interested in my treasure? Then why are you here? Huh? You want this, amigo? Yeah. This little rock over here? Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I didn't really like that one anyway. Wow. <laughs> and... You got a crystal star. Yay. Your star power is now six, and Mario learned the special move, Sweet Feast. Ooh, is that like Hero's Feast in D&D? &D? Oh, I mean, I, <laughs> I, I think it's more like Sweet Treat, but better. You know? No? Yes? More. More, exactly. <laughs> Give us more. And that's the end of the chapter. Wow. Nicely done, Amy. This is cool. Right? Yeah. Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fell ship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. Uh. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? Save, absolutely. progress was saved. Very good. Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you, amigo! Month, star, day, circle star. Uh, and then I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King Cortez. What? what the hell do I do here? Um, I can't ride you sideways, right? Like this way? Can you no. turn towards no. us? Oh. No, I can't. I can jump and see if that'll if I'll make it. I did. All right. Well, that's convenient. Oh, we did it. We already saved, so I don't have to do that now. Uh, okay. Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you all right? Yahoo! You beat Cortez? Wow, you're really something. Yes, now that you've got some free time, why don't you get us out of here? <laughs> um. Oh. All that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. 
If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape. I guess that's not much help. <laughs> what? A breeze? How are we going to bust that solid rock, though? Or through solid rock, though? I wonder how we would ever get through that wall, Amy. <laughs> oh, that was a little too far. Blow up the toadstool. Yeah, exactly. I did without wanting to. I did. There we go. Good job, Bobbery. Ha! It now worked just like dead. I said! What? Now he's dead. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, me first! <laughs> Come on, everybody! Let's get out of here! Yeah, that's what happens when uh, you blow a hole in the wall of a cave. It's Is not you... that it all caves in. Nah. It's, uh, it, it makes a big hole, and then you can just escape. Exactly. Duh, Amy. Duh. This damp cave air is just no good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. That won't hurt your skin. Your hair, perhaps, Yeah. But you don't have hair. <laughs> wow, there's so many of them. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you, but I need to leave now. Well, let's find out where it leads. It leads out here to the beach where we found the Wacka Bump earlier. Hmm. Remember? Yeah. Waku, I'm Waka. We've got some good weather today, right, right? Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. Waka do. <laughs> so? Let's hit him. Walk out! Don't hit me! We got another whack -a bump a lump of something. Replenishes 25 HP and 25 FP. And so, if we look at our gear, now we have a whack -a bump Yay. Because I think we used the other one, maybe? Something yeah. Like Can you do something to that rock? It looks like it's blow up a little. It is not. Okay, well, I tried. Anyway, let's get back to our friends over here. Oh, wow. Oh, God, so boy. Many. I didn't mean you guys. Here we go these guys. Ah, Mario! Welcome back to back to you, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring, hmm? Uh -huh. What? The spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure? And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there? Ah, what were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Oh, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Okay. Could it be? Brother? You! What are you doing here? I... I... I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island. I came looking. But ghosts attacked us and our boat just sank. But I found you now. Huh? Your boat sank too. So you're all stranded here as well? Wow. We heard something. What? Hold on. Huh? What was that? Uh, what is that? Pardon me, guys. Buh, I mean, buh, 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 buh. <laughs> So sorry to surprise you. No, wait, no need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the Crystal Star. Oh yeah, seriously, good job getting it for me. Oi, now, ain't that good old Four Eyes? Yeah, that is Four Eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes, it's dangerous up there. <laughs> right? What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here! Oh, whatever, I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... Buh, 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 the Great Lord Crump! Oh man, did I fool you! I was the mastermind in the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the Crystal Star, because you know what'll happen if you don't. Stubborn cannons! Port cannons! Fire! 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 <laughs> I 
ye yikes! Four Eyes was a pirate all this time? Madness! Well, what are we all standing around for? Cannons, please! Or, cannons, people! We must flee! Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without without a ship to sail. Wait! I have it! I am a genius! We have a ship at hand, and a fine one, I must say! Mario, take me to Cortez! Yes, my brain remembered what you said! You said that Cortez had a ship! If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship! Flavia, what are you talking about? That's crazy! This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here! Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship, huh? He'll cream you! ka re -eam you! Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. Oh my god, okay. I thought the chapter was over. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Right? Okay, here we go. Here's Cortez. You're welcome. He's right through this door. Ooh. Oh, what? Is it is you again? Did you forget something? Me to lend Lord, you me to lend you my ship. And who are you anyway? M m m my name is Flavio. We are in big trouble in Norway. We could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about, muchacho? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to powering the ship is the mystical skull gem. Damn it, Flavio. <laughs> the the skull gem? You you mean this? You you have the skull gem? Uh yes, yes I do. So alright, what do you say to this proposition then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal, do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend? Sorry, wow, that was the, not even close. Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach. W -w -w Wait just a moment. Do not make me have Mario trounce you again. While he fights you, I will throw the stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? <sighs> You rattle my bones, Senor Peacock. Very well. I accept your bargain, amigo. Now, I, 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 I lost this dude's voice instantaneously. Sorry. Now be very careful with that gem. Ah, check and mate, Flavio. I do not make my fortune by fall it failing in negotiation, no. You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now, you take this... wet in his head. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again! I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the sea, like in the old days. So, Mario, feel free to thank me any time for saving us all, but for now, we sail! Okay... Does that mean, uh... Kind of worked, right? I guess. But what do we do now? Do we leave? Okay, so we're in this room. Now we go out here and. Okay, there we go. Wow. That happened. Hey, we're coming too! Let's take them! Come on! All for one, guys! 
Boy, I ain't letting old Flavio Fancy Pants hog all the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. And there's Cortez. It's been a millennium since I gazed upon the sea. Come to the open waters! Oh, and the ghosts, too. Buh, 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 ha, ha. I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, boss, a boom? You fire cannons here without my permission? You have nerve, mortal! <laughs> Yeah. What the? <laughs> Why are they all on the sails? That makes I no sense. <laughs> like, the ghost being on the sails does make sense, but not this. They crashed into it. Grr, I'm gonna sink this radio ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cad. Okay. Oh, so we have to actually fight him now. Duel that cad. That's what he said. Oh, wow. Buh, 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 huh, huh. I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. Buh, huh. Enjoy. Can't flee this fight. Okay, so... There is... The x not pile, or Lord Crump. Okay. Let's start with the pile. Okay. Uh, so do we want to jump on them, or uh, hammer them? Or I guess we could do multi-bound. Yeah. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then bomb or bomb squad? Bomb squad does more than one. Throw three time bombs that will explode one turn later. We've never oh, used it. Oh, interesting. Let's use that one. Oh god, that was terrible. Shit. I'm very bad at this. Well, luckily there's three of them. Yeah. Alright. Blocked. That did four damage, though. That did three, and I didn't block, so... Okay. Now what? Uh, we'll do that. Each. Whoa. The X-Knots are dead. Cool. So I guess we'll just bomb this guy then. Okay, and then. Okay, didn't block that one either, but still only three damage. That did three to Mario, because I messed up that, but he just took six from the other ones. Nice. Buh, 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 <laughs> You're not gonna get off that easily, losers. Let's see how you like this. <clears throat> x nuts Oh, shit. Um... The fuck? Can I jump on them? Can I do anything? Oh, wait, what about Quake Hammer? When they've been up at the top in the past, yeah, it can oh, hit them. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, do that. <laughs> wow. Okay, good, good. All right, you ready? Yeah. I can only really bomb him. I can't do much else. So. To the to the guys up top of this. Oh. Shit. Four damage, but I blocked it. Okay, two damage. Good, good. All right, we need to do something to get Mario's points up here. All right, that's fine because we have the lack of bombs, so we can do that if you want. Yeah. Um, but we'll quake hammer first, so we can hit the guys up yes. top as well, and then we'll whack a bump with um. They're all dead. Wow. Okay. Shit. Oh, never mind. We win. Oh, we don't win. Oh, God. What the fuck? Uh. Ah. Buh. Oh. Uh. Man, this is no good. I thought I was almost aced for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins. I'm down, but no way I'm out. So let's use the whack a bump on Mario. Go back to full health and full FP as well. Nice. Yep. Worth it. Oh god. Oh! 
five damage to each of those. Okay. Two damage. Quick hammer. We could do a, a star power thing instead if you want to do the um, the earth tremor. Oh yeah yeah. Let's do it. Press A with perfect timing. I sure will try. I wasn't sure if we still had the earth tremor so we used it already. I wasn't sure if that made it go away. No. Oh, I did it! I actually did it on camera. Nice. Thank God. <laughs> <sighs> okay, that did six damage. Uh, bomb either the X knots. Oh, I can't get to him because they're blocking him. Oh, so okay. So, okay. Yeah. Five damage, and they're all dead. Wow. Okay, three more damage to us. All right, what are we doing? Oh, he called them all back. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, what do we have under the flowers? That's the items. So, fire flower, spike pouch, card shell, slow shroom, or boo sheep. The fire flower, does that hit one enemy or oh. all? Let's try that. Okay. And... So that's eight damage. They're still alive. Five damage. And then he gets a turn as well. Okay, blocked it. We're down to eight and seven, though. Uh, we have put... full FP, though. Yeah. So let's use something that uses FP. Well, first of all, they're all dead. Nice. And so... Oh, fuck off! <gasps> nice. I think that's our health. We're back to full health. <laughs> oh, thank God. Amazing. All right, then we can use to to possibly waste some FP. Let's try a power smash. If it hits, this could kill. But if not, like if it misses because of the fog, then it misses. It missed. That's fine. Worth it. Blocked it. Only did two. But he still hit us, which sucks. And he brings them all back. Son of a bitch, man. This sucks. Okay, that missed. But it was a regular attack. I guess let's multi -dose. Okay. Good, good. This is annoying. Really I blocked it. It did four and five. And now two. Good job. Okay. Let's try to bomb again. Come on, baby. Come on. We're not dead yet. That's annoying. But the multi-bounce could kill them this time. It does. Amazing. Ooh, damn. Okay. Good. Blocked it for only two. Don't do it. You son of a bitch. Uh, How the hell do we get ahead of this bullshit? What do we have left? We can quake him. Yeah, anything that does damage to him, I imagine will eventually kill him. Even if he keeps calling these guys back over and over again. I'm just trying to, like, if we can get to a point where we can power smash him, he's probably just dead. Right then and there, you know? Yeah. Mario took less there, which is good. And less there, which is good. Okay. Let's quake again, I suppose. Does that make sense? Yes. They're all dead, so now we can at least bomb him. That's four damage. It's more than usual. Oh, five damage. Even better. Okay, we'll take two, but then he calls them all back. Yeah, that looks like he doesn't, but now he does. <laughs> um, let's multi bounce. Good. He's still not dead yet. I was so surprised. How much health does this asshole have? A lot, I assume. Soon. Nothing. This sucks. Okay, blocked. So I only took four, but then... 
take another two, which means another attack like that and Mario is dead. Right. Uh, oh, uh, we can't, because we need the full thing, right? Is that how it works? No, yeah. Sweet Feast is five. So we can do Sweet Feast if we want. That sounds great. Restores Mario and his allies HP and FP and cures poison. But I imagine it's similar to Sweet Treat where it's limited to what we get back. Oh. Well, still. All right, let's do it. Okay, hold left. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Holy shit. That's fine. We did it. I think we're almost back to full. We're back to full FP and full HP on Mario, but Bobbery's at 19 out of 25. Okay. Um, I guess we bomb these guys. Five damage, they're dead. <sighs> I took three, I didn't block that one, that's fine. He calls him back, because he's a motherfucker. Uh, multi-bounce, I guess? Oh, we did it! I think. Yeah. <clears throat> He's dead. Wow. We got 20 points for that, too. Yeah, it sure did. Man, this is getting old. How could I lose again? I hate losing. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus. Grr. And with that, pow, I'm gone. He just goes away. We don't chase him at all. We just let him leave. We've done it, old boy. I should say, we won't be too keen, or he won't be too keen on seeing us again, eh? Yeah. Way to go, eat seaweed. Yar, we did it. Way to go, eat seaweed. <laughs> save all game progress. You're damn right I'm gonna save all game progress. Your progress was saved. Very great. All right. So, with that being said, we're done with that area, and you know what that means. Just want to tickle that nose. <laughs> we're going to go a little bit longer, because we got Peach and Bowser still. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought... We thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. Behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands. And Mario has five. I must take some measures. I don't see a crystal star in your hands. I see a scepter. Maybe it's in the scepter. Maybe. You ever think of that? No. TEC called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Thing. TEC? Was that noise you? What's wrong? What noise? <clears throat> the delay. Oh. <clears throat> I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Gro Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. Okay. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, TEC. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Okay. Very 
very good. Up we go. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room, exit the elevator, and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Okay, which I assume is this way. That's... That door sounds like a baby coughing. <laughs> uh, there it is. <clears throat> okay. Through the door we go. We are in a lab. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. Cool. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. <clears throat> okay, so here's a note. Note, place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. Okay, so it's one of those fancy math problems. It's a logic puzzle, but otherwise, yes. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> Note, place the blue potion next to the red potion. Okay. It already is. Note, place two potions between the green and the red. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Two between the green and the red. Wait, really? Place the orange between the blue and the green. So the end potions are red and green, and the inner potions are blue and orange. So it goes red. Sorry. Red, blue, orange, green, I think. Red, blue, orange, green? Are you sure they are placed to your liking? Very well. Then please cue the button on the control panel located to on the left side of the room. Okay. I hope it worked. If I'm wrong, then I'd literally just reverse them. Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. Oh, fuck. Oh. Didn't realize it did that. Oh, shit. What? Oh, it, it's where it stops. Oh, thank God. Okay, I didn't mess it up. Okay. <laughs> Stop. It just looks like Pepto Bismol. Kind of. <laughs> but that's a lot of Pepto to drink. Right? I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. It looks pretty green. That's usually a positive thing. I guess. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? God, I hope so. Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Yeah. Please, you must drink it. That's what he said. Yeah. <gasps> we did it. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. Nice. But I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent! No way! Oh, fine. I guess if it's the only way... 
steps off camera and does it. Okay. When you go into Sir Grotus' room, first locate the disc with the recorded data, then insert that disc into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus' room. What? Okay, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one there? A malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? Okay, here we go. All the way down this very long hallway. And get to Sir Grotus' room. Not bump into that guy. Not bump into the scientist guy. And through the door we go. Fidget spinner. Kind of. This must be Grotus's room. Now, where is that disc? Uh, back here on the shelves. Found it. This must be it. You got a data disc. A disc from Grotus's room. What kind of data is on it? Um. Oh yeah. Now I insert the disc into the computer and connect to the network. Is that this computer? Okay. Nice. Uh, I did it! Yes, I did it! It's working! <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Something's happening. Okay. It seems to have worked. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. Okay. There! Like I was never here. Okay, and then we go back to the room like he told us to. And... Did we make it out successfully? Seems, Seems like we like did, it. right? Hmm. Oh, don't walk into this guy. Good. Don't walk into that guy. Positive. Okay past the elevator, and into this room again. Okay. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. <laughs> now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. Because she has to put her dress back on. Okay, and her crown and her earrings. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? Okay, so it's not the one on the table, it's actually this one. And we're visible. What a relief! I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now, please return to the computer room. Okay. So we have to go out this way, hope there aren't guys out here, even though they just were. Okay, it just brings us right here. Okay. Say, by the way, TEC, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Oh, boy. Now, please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Wow. Good. Then I'll use the communicator. Thanks. I've written my message. Would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, TEC. Ah. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, TEC. So cute. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Princess Peach, I will protect you. From what? She left the room. I think he means in general, or they it means in general. Alright, saving. And again, like we said, are you ready? If uh Cammy is here or whatever her name is. Oh yeah, gross. 
Not really. Oh well. Oh! It's what's his name? He's right there. Oh. Wow. Blech! What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out! The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it, or let's get to it. All right, let's talk to this asshole. He's very blatantly here. Oh man, well, I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb somewhere around here. This stinks. Really, this whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. You found it. Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the Crystal Stars in one fell swoop! Hot diggity dog! Buh, 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 huh, huh. The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me! Wow. You there, suspicious guy! I don't know why that just happened. That sounded awesome. I loved it. You know something about the Crystal Stars, don't you? Buh! Somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet, this'll help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know, now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that, and if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. W whoa there, big guy, I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of, you? Buh, 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 huh, huh. If you think you could take me, then try it, chubby. All troops, report! Buh, 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 huh, huh. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Wow. Whoa, well played. Sorry, that really hurt my throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's it going to be, tough guy? <laughs> oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dorks. Super bomb! Incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur! Watch and learn! Oh, crud. You just all got blown up. You blew up like all of Twilight Town, too, I assume. And we save! <laughs> wow. <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> it blew up the whole game. Game uh, over. Amazing. What a weird end to that section. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, I guess we're back here on the ship and we can end this section and then end the episode. Sorry, it's probably a bit longer than usual. You! You've distinguished yourself in battle, amigo! You are worthy in my eyes! I still do not know this guy's voice. I had it for a very short time and I'm so sorry that I lost it. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now, get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see Captain Mario. Ah, uh, Mario. What the hell? Oh. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. 
Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will you? I like how her wedding ring is, like, on four of her fingers. Yeah, it's just on her whole hand, basically. Just not her thumb. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live with, without any ghosts, eh? Yes, very good. They'll be rather happy here, eh? Let's be on our way, hmm? Ready, amigos? Cast off! Okay. And we're out of here. This is so cool. You like it? You're like driving the boat. <laughs> Okay. Month Star Day Circle. And thus, our adventure came to an exciting end, ah? Uh, the ship sailed smoothly onto Roadport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds, for I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes, even now I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Signed, Flavio. At last we return... Uh, is this... I don't know who's saying this, but we'll pretend it's Flavio again. At last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, ah... Uh? But of course, you all know that, and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. <laughs> but now please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us together all, or all together again someday. W what? Hey, where are you all leaving already? Ah, that was harsh. Wow, look at them all. Jesus. <laughs> Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, eh? Or ah? Uh, one day, you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. <laughs> it is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, ah? Uh? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout, Flavio, to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kill Hall Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Wow. <laughs> Ahem. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. Wow. May we meet again, ah? Uh? Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, was that ever in doubt that he was the worst? No. Well, 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 old boy. I should think we'd head for that door at this point. I mean, that's, that's correct, yeah. But, to be honest, for this episode... God damn it! On your toes, old bean! That can only be an email from Princess Peach! Fine, I'll read the email first. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called TEC here. By cooperating with this TEC, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. TEC is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Signed, Princess Peach. Great goobery! Your princess is not one to be trifled with. We'd best get her- get- yeah, we'd best get to work, too. Thank God. Alright. We have done it. We've saved multiple times in this episode, but this is the final save of the episode because that is going to be the end my god, Amy, what did you think? I know you, again, I said it at the beginning of this episode, but you liked this chapter so far, and now it's over. Did you like the ending of the chapter as well? Not really. Why not? I don't know. It just, like, wasn't as interesting as I thought it was going to be. Okay. All right. Uh, Fair but enough. I liked the beginning of this chapter, and I really, really liked the wrestling chapter. Yeah. Um, the Glitz Pip one. So, you know... Looking forward to the next one. Okay. Yeah, and obviously we will be doing the next one starting next week. And so you all should definitely make sure that if you have not already, that you are subscribed and you have that bell rung so that you make sure that you get notifications whenever any of our videos come out, including, more, like I said, the, the 
other episodes of this series next week and for the coming weeks. Also, we have other series on this channel, and we have other channels as well. Links down in the description box below. Don't forget to sub and ring the bells there also. Yes. Also, don't forget, I don't always say it, but if you're enjoying the things that we're doing, which we really appreciate, thank you so much. First of all, we would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Please. Let us know what you thought of this chapter. Do you agree with Amy that it kind of falls off partway through or halfway through or whatever? What do you think of the ending, of Cortez, of my bad voice acting in this one? I apologize. It's usually not that bad, although maybe some people feel like it always is, and that's fair. Um, but <laughs> let us know in the comments down below. We'd really appreciate hearing from you. Uh, and... Yeah, otherwise, uh, I think that's going to be it. Oh, just a reminder, likes and shares go a very long way also. Yes. And we really, really appreciate any and all support that you are all willing to give. But for now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.